a lot of fun. You're going to be using white paint, blue paint, a little bit of red, a little bit of yellow, and a little bit of black. But we're going to start with the white and the blue. We're going to wet our paintbrush in the water, pat it out on our blotter, and then we're going to load it with paint. So we're going to put it in the white paint first, put lots of it on, fold it over back and forth, and pick up a little tiny corner of blue. And then we're going to set that on the canvas, and in a smile, we're going to make smiles on our canvas. So everybody knows how to make a smile. And don't worry if you if you miss anything, we'll upload a, a version to YouTube so you can watch that too. Isn't that great? You can just do it at your leisure. So whenever your paint runs out, you just add a little more paint, a little more white, a little more blue, and we just keep working in that smile pattern. So now as we go down the canvas, we're going to add even more paint, more blue, maybe less white. Let's run it through the white and pick up more blue. Because we want it to get gradually darker as we go down in this smile pattern. Now remember, this is fun art, not fine art. You can't do it wrong, you can only do it different. So as long as you're having a good time and getting the paint on the canvas, that's what is important. So again, we're gonna pick up a little more blue. And less white, and I'm still working in a smile oh. pattern. We just had someone join us. Oh, hi, welcome to Fun Art. Don't worry, you haven't missed too much. We're just getting started. We're working with only the white and blue paint. We put our paint brush in the water, patted it out on the paper towel to dry, and then we loaded it with white paint and a little bit of blue. And we just made a smile pattern all the way down the canvas. That's what we're working on. And as we go down the canvas, all we want to do is increase the amount of blue. So we use less white and more blue. But this is fun art. You can't do it wrong. You'll only do it different. Just enjoy putting that paint right on the canvas. We want to make sure that we cover all of it. Super important. Now here at Fun Art, I encourage all the students to make sure that they paint their sides. Because then you'll have a nice finished painting to hang on your wall. This is going to be uploaded to um, Fun Art YouTube channel. And if I get ahead of you, don't worry because you'll be able to follow along on the YouTube channel and be able to stop and go at your leisure. So even though we're live tonight, it is being recorded. If you have any questions, feel free to type them in and Sam, he will be able to answer them for you. So we're just adding blue paint mostly, just a little hint of white here and there. I'm still just making it into a smile pattern. It's super easy and fun to do. You can't do it wrong. And if it's not a smile, don't worry about it. The ocean is a very complex place and it doesn't have to be perfect. This is fun art. You just can't do it wrong. We only do it different here. I'm just gonna do my edges while everybody catches up. Okay. And just make sure that you do, the whole front is all covered. go. 
I'll do a little bit on the top edge. Just make sure I'm doing that smile all the way down. And we we'll just paint those little edges. Perfect. Now the next thing to do is you're going to want to blow it dry because with acrylic paint, if we continue to paint wet on wet, Sometimes it just pulls the paint off, and that just makes a mess. So I just take my blow dryer, and I'm just going to turn it on to low. And I just keep the blow dryer moving. It's very important that we don't want to bubble the paint. So we need it to be dry to the touch. And again, if I'm faster than you, that's okay. Maybe I'm just going to turn this up to high for a minute. Here we go. I'm just trying to make sure that I get everywhere dry. I'm not holding it directly on the canvas. I'm moving it around the whole time. Very important. And then dry to the touch just means that when you run your hand over it, that your hand doesn't get any paint on it. So that's dry to the touch. So we look at this painting. It looks a little bit darker than this one. And that's because I did two coats of paint. I painted it once, then I blew it dry, and then I washed my brush out really good. Patted it off on my blotter. And once again, I started with white paint, loaded my brush, picked up one corner of blue, and I started that smile pattern again. So I'm going to do it a second time. If you only do it once, that's okay. But here at Fun Art, I do encourage the students to do it twice, just so that if they missed any spots in the first go round, that they make sure they get good coverage. So again, I'm adding lots of white paint and just a hint of blue, and I'm doing the smile pattern. So fun art is not about speed painting or about um, being perfect at anything. It's about having fun, just like in the name, fun art. And what I encourage people to do is get messy. Give it a try. You'd be very surprised at how amazing your art's going to turn out. And that you don't want your art to necessarily look like mine. You want it to look like yours, so it's okay to be different. We encourage that here. We encourage people to use their own skills and their own techniques and try different things. And that's how you become an artist, is by exploring. So you can't do it wrong, you'll only do it different. And did you know that anybody can be an artist? Even me? Even Sam over here, it's a true story. There's many different kinds of art, and art is for everyone. So all you have to do is be willing to give it a try. So here I am, I'm now I'm down at the bottom again. So if you missed the first part of this, I'm actually just painting with mostly straight blue now, 
not very much white at all. I'm still doing that smile pattern because this is under the sea. And we want to look like if we were under the sea and we were looking way up, it would be lighter at the top. If you were a scuba diver and you were under the sea and you looked up, you would see that it would be very light at the surface of the water. And that's what we're trying to do in our painting. How's it look, Sam? It looks great. Does anybody have any questions that we can answer? We're using acrylic paint, and acrylic paint. Um, this is a, a this is an artist grade acrylic. Uh, it doesn't come out of your clothes really, really well. So you do have an apron if you have a kit from Fun Art in your kit, and I highly recommend that you use it. Uh, baby wipes are great. They help to take your paint off your hands, or if you get it on the furniture, use a baby wipe. That's a helpful hint. Okay, so now we have the first coat on, we have the second coat on, and we have to go back to the blow dryer. It's time to blow it dry again. All right. All right, I'm gonna turn it up. moving it all around. I don't want it to stop in one place too long. So what we need to see is it dry to the touch. Yep, when I run my hand over it, no paint. How exciting. All right, so I wonder how you're doing. Are you enjoying this? I hope everybody. So we have the, the base coat done and that is the ocean. So the next step we're going to do is we're going to make some fish in the ocean. And we're gonna use a smaller brush for that. So I have a small brush. I'm gonna put it in the water. I'm gonna pat it out on my blotter, okay? Every time that we clean the brush, we need to make sure that we put it out on the blotter. And it's just so that water isn't running down your canvas because it can leave kind of marks. All right. So I recommend that you take a little bit of your white paint. And this is a great way to start making your fish because if you make your fish uh, in this white and you're unhappy with them, you can add a little bit of blue to it, make a smile, and they're gonna disappear. So if we make the fish in white first, then we can add color on the next coat. So let's see, we've got a couple different kinds of fish. These little ones up here, these yellow ones, they have stripes on them and they're called sergeant majors. So we just make a little oval shape. Okay. And then we're just gonna put a little tail on it. It's kind of like a little backwards heart. We can add a little fin here and there. And you can have as many as you want. So again, we make a little oval and the tail here is kind of like a little, a little V shape or a little heart shape, whatever works for you. And you, it doesn't matter how many you put on your painting. Remember, you can't do it wrong at Fun Art. You can only do it your way, and that's the right way for you. So I 
I think that uh, I'm probably going to make a little school of maybe five fish. There we go. Make a little. And I need one more. Let's do one more right here. So again, I'm making a little oval. And then let's put the letter V at the back, which really turns out to be I like little hearts. So five little sergeant majors. Now I want to have a bigger fish swimming. And I have these little purple fish here. You could do that if you wanted it to be a shark. It could be a shark. Remember, you can't do it wrong. But we're just going to make bigger fish by doing the same thing. Taking the white paint, making a bigger circle or oval. An oval is just a circle that's a little bit long. Okay, we just paint that on and then we're going to give him a tail. This time we're going to make a big V tail and we want him to have a nice upper fin. So we just paint some fin on and he's going to have a couple lower fins too. So maybe we'll yeah, make an even bigger one here. Again, it doesn't have to be the same. You can do it any way you want. Okay, so I just made another oval and I'm putting on the big V for the tail, some fin, a couple little fins on the bottom. Ooh, and maybe one is just sneaking onto my canvas and I can't see the tail, but I can only see the head and a little bit of fin. Ooh, isn't that fun? All right. So what we need to do with this is we need to blow this dry because these fish don't have any color. They're kind of boring right now. to demonstrate that if you're having trouble with that little brush and thinking about your fish and it's going to be really hard um, and this is a children's painting so you could actually take your finger your pointer finger put it in a little bit of white paint make a little circle with your finger and that will give you the body of the fish so that's pretty cool and then all we have to do is add with a little bit of our brush, a little tail, your fin, and some fins down here. And that is another way to make a fish. So you don't necessarily have to use the brush. You could use your pointer finger and that will work just as well. All right, so we've blown these fish dry to the touch, except for that guy, he's still wet. And I'm going to do um, the little yellow fish, which are the sergeant majors. So I'm going to take a little bit of yellow on my brush and I'm going to paint right over top of where I had the white. Okay. And even his little tail and the fin. I'm going to paint the whole thing. So again, I'm using the smallest brush that I have. It's a little liner brush. You've got one in your kit if you bought a kit from Bon Art Paint Parties. And you're just going to go ahead and paint each one of these fish. Now they don't have to be yellow. Maybe your fish are pink. Or maybe your favorite color is purple. Or red. Alright, so. Now I think we should talk about while this guy's drawing, we should talk about the color purple. So if you take a bit of blue and you put it on your palette, this little tray that you're working with, okay, and then
and then you add a little bit of red paint to it and swish it around. Red and blue make purple. So right here. You can add a bit of white to it if you want it to be a lighter purple. Okay, so red and blue mixed together make purple. All right, here we go. Isn't that fantastic? There's my cute little purple fish. Don't worry about the eyes. I'm going to show you how to do that. And there is a great trick to it, which will help make your painting very successful. So I'm just painting these little guys, making their little bodies purple, using a little bit of blue and a little bit of red and a hint of white. Just making my purple fish. I'm still using the liner brush, the little one. Now maybe I, these fish would like to have a fancy fin. So maybe I'll just take a little bit of light blue and make their cute little fin light blue. Okay. And their tail. Well, I have lots of choices on my palette, but I'm thinking these guys are going to have a red tail. So I'm going right over the white and giving them red tails. Yours can have any color that you want. This guy's going to have a little bit of a purple tail. And don't forget if you have any questions and you're on the live paint tonight, just type them in and Sam would be happy to answer them for you. Yes, I would. Okay, a little shadowing underneath there. And there we go. Now wasn't that fun? I'm gonna wash off my brush really good. I'm gonna dry it off on my blotter. And then I'm gonna pick up a little bit of black on it, just on the very, very tip. And I'm going to make a few stripes on my Sergeant Majors. Now these kind of fish live in the coral reef. Or you might even see them in your aquarium at home, something like this. Now if I want to make an eye for the fish, I'm going to wash off my brush. This end has the bristles on it. This is the other end. I want to use the other end. I'm going to take that other end. Okay, so bristles are up. I'm going to put it in the black paint, pull it up, set it down once, and then with the other end of the brush, I'm going to make little eyes on my fish. This is a great way to make a circle. Now, if I wanted to decorate these other fish, I would do the same thing. I'm going to pick up a bit of yellow using the other end of my brush. And I'm going to set it down, giving these fish some cool spots. You guys, I hope you all can hear me well. Mine froze, but we'll just see. Oh, it says reconnecting. Just give it a minute. Okay. You might be, you might have to go back a minute, or explain back a minute when it, once it reconnects. Yeah, is the, um, the iPhone still on? Yes, it is indeed. Okay. Well, if you can't see me or you can't see me, we'll be back up in just a second. But... Oh, it seems like you've dropped out of it, actually. That's okay. weird. Okay. You should be able to just rejoin. Okay. Oh, that's weird. Let's go... 
well, I mean, there's the recording for the first part. Okay. Technical difficulties. Not to worry. Okay. Hi. Oh, wait, you're not in quite yet. Okay. <laughs> well, it still says connecting. It's not wanting to work. Give me a second. Just one second, I'm just gonna tell Kim. Hey, I'm sorry, they're just having a little bit of internet difficulties, so we're just going to um, quickly reconnect to a different Wi Fi, so we'll be right back. And I would be able to hear her if she had the answer. Is Kim on there? Yeah. Okay, good. Has she asked any questions? Um, no, but Michaela had to leave, but they said they're definitely gonna watch the YouTube video. He said, okay. That sound. It's weird though, I'm connected to the Wi Fi, but it says there's no internet over here. And there you are, you're back. All right, hi everybody. Sorry about the technical difficulties. It's always uh, interesting with windy weather. And there we go. All right, good. Can you guys hear me okay? I hope so. All right, fantastic. So what we were doing is we were just working on the other end of the brush and looking at how to make perfect circles. The easiest way really is just to use the other end of the brush. Stick it in the paint and then set it right down and you will get some very nice circles to decorate your fish with, okay? Now for the eye, I'm going to do it twice. So I'll put a yellow circle, a little bit bigger, and all I'm doing is taking the other end of the brush, making the circle and swirling it around just a little tiny bit, okay? And the other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to give these guys, just take a little bit of my black paint and give them a little smile here. We don't want any frowning fish. Sad fish or mad fish. Exactly. The other thing you can do is you can take a little bit of paint if you wanted and give them fish lips. Kind of like we did with the tail. Just make those fish lips a little bit bigger. Okay, because fish tend to have kind of bigger lips. All right, so the next thing we're going to do is uh, oh, I've got to finish up this one little sergeant major over here. Let's paint him yellow. Put the little fins on. And we'll come back to black in a little bit. So again, you can have as many fish as you like, and they can be anything that you want them to be. We're going to look down here at the coral reef next, and I think we'll put in the clamshell. So the clamshell, he is gray, and you're going to take a little bit of black and mix it with a bit of your white. And down here on the ocean floor, you're going to make a circle. And the idea of this clam is that you make the circle and fill it in. Okay. But the clam actually opens. He is a seashell and he's alive inside. So we just make the circle, paint it in. We're going to take the other end of the brush and we're going to put 
eyes on the top of his head. Two eyes. So again, I'm just using the other end of the brush, not the brush end, the other end. Dipping it in the black paint and swirling it around to make two circles. I'm going to let them dry for a bit. I'm going to add white centers later, but we need it to dry just a bit. So we'll leave him, and I think next we're going to look at the coral reef. So in the background, there are some tall green seaweed. So to make green, we're going to take blue and yellow. So if we mix a little bit of blue with our yellow, we're going to get a green. Still using my tiny brush, and all I want to do is squiggle up. I'll show that again. I start at the bottom, and I make squiggly lines all the way up. Now you can have as many as you like. Again, there's no wrong, and they can cross over one another. They don't have to be perfectly straight. You can add a bit more yellow if you like. If you want them to be lighter, if you want them to be darker, then you would add a little bit of black. But I'm gonna keep mine kind of light on this coral reef. So we'll put them in. Swirl them up. So again, I'm using the small brush. Yellow and blue make green. And I'm just swirling up. I can't do it wrong. I can only do it different at Fun Art. Now maybe I'm ready to put some coral in the reef. So the coral is usually like a pink color and white and red make pink so but the ratio is really that you need more white than pink than red so you're going to take a bunch of white and just add one dot of red to it and swish it around okay so i'll show you my palette here so mostly white one dot of red swish it around and i want to create a pink that's going to be Kind of pretty. All right, so I'm gonna take this brush and I'm gonna tap, tap, tap. And what I mean by that is I'm gonna use the bristles and I'm gonna literally set it on and I'm going to make the shape of trees. So my tree trunk goes up and then if you had branches on a tree, what would that look like? You want a bit more red on it you just add a bit more red so again you're just tap tap tapping and you are making coral the coral actually comes in many different colors so maybe yours is more purple maybe it is more yellow maybe it's just pure white you can't do it wrong, you can only do it different. I'm just gonna tap some coral in here. Some tall ones, some short ones. But what you can see happening is because I didn't blow it dry, this coral has a little bit of green tinge to it. So I'm gonna wash out my brush. Okay. And I'm gonna take my blow dryer and just give it a quick blow dry. do it. So here we go. We're going to make some more coral. I think I'm going to put a little bit of yellow and white together. I'm just adding a bit of white to my yellow only so it will stand out um, against the blue a little bit better. So I'm tap tap tapping and I'm making these coral wreath. 
The coral reef, it looks like trees, so I'm just making tree shapes. Again, you can't do it wrong. It's fun art. So slap that paint on the canvas. Tap, tap, tap. And I think I'll do some nice pink ones right over here. You can have as many as you want or as few as you want. Tap, tap, tap. Oh, some here. I'll wash my brush each time that I change my color. I should really wash my brush and then pat it out to dry. Some yellow. Tap, tap, tapping. All right, that's looking good. Now, the bottom along the ocean floor, I can just fill it in a little bit if I want, just by taking a little bit of my green, and I can wiggle up a few more lines if I feel like I need them, which are going to be your seaweed. Right? And some of them maybe are a little bit brighter than other ones, and because I used more yellow. I can also start at the top and wiggle down because maybe some of them are kind of hidden in behind. All right. I might have to repeat that. I'm not sure if it's on my end or... Okay, oh. I'm still going over here, I think. So next thing that we need to do is we need to put a little opening on the mouth of the clam. And we did that with a bit of white paint. So you just go, um, if you, the center, halfway through, but lower. You only want to go three quarters of the way. Make a little smile and then make a smile underneath it. And then inside a clam shell, you would find a pearl. So we're going to take the other end of the brush and we're going to put a white dot. This is a great opportunity because we already have the other end of the brush using white. So we're gonna go back in and we're gonna put little white dots in the center of the clam's eyes so that they stand out a little bit better. The next thing we're gonna do is wipe off the end of the brush, tip it in the black paint, and put center eyes on these cool fish. Now if I look at this painting, I can see that all of my fish up here are yellow and have stripes. But when I look down here, I seem to be missing stripes on one. So I'm gonna go back and add a few stripes on this guy. Okay. The other thing he needs is an eye. So I put my other end of the brush in the paint and I put an eye on for him. So it looks like all of my Sergeant Majors have stripes, they have tails, they have fins, and they have eyes. Now when we get to these bigger fish, my purple fish here, um, they have the same thing. And the question is, am I happy with it? Well, I think that their red tails should be a little bit redder. And because my paint is dry, I can go back in and put another coat on. And that just darkens the value of the paint that you're using. I'm going to do the same thing here on their little fins to make it be a little bit darker. Okay, when I look at my clam, my clam here, he looks pretty good. He has two eyes, a mouth, and he has a pearl in the center. Now I can take a little bit of black paint if I want and just make a few lines on him here and there, not everywhere, just to help define him a little bit. 
And if I get too much on it, then I just take a little bit of gray, add a little white to it, and blend it out. Because these kind of clams have ridges on their shells. If I look at my coral, uh, it looks pretty good, but I don't have anything here on the ocean floor. So I may go back in and put in a few little pieces of seaweed. Just wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Okay. And fill in my ocean floor. There we go. So when I look at this, I see that there are some starfish here. And you can make a starfish. Uh, you could use your white or you could use your yellow. I'm going to use a little bit of white and yellow mixed together. And I think I'll have a starfish on this one, maybe here on this corner. And all I'm going to do is make a triangle with legs and then another upside down triangle and that will create a star. And I can extend those points. They don't have to be perfect. The starfish actually legs are slightly curved. So you can just use your imagination and get that starfish on. just paint that in. It's going to have to dry for a minute. So we have all of the elements of the painting except for we're actually missing, I don't know if you can see them, but there's bubbles. And we're going to make some bubbles by taking a sponge. So in your kit, if you had a kit, you're going to have a little finger sponge. And what you do with that is you're going to put it in your blue paint first and spin it around. You don't need very much. So even if you're getting low on blue paint, it's okay. And then you're going to take one corner of it and put it in the white paint. Okay, so it's white and blue. So if you can see that, I have blue on it, but I also have white on it. What I do with this is I set it down on the canvas and give it a little spin. Set it down, spin, set it down, spin. I don't need to reload it. Once I get these bubbles going, I'll have enough paint on this one sponge, doing it once, to make as many bubbles as I want. Okay. That little spin is kind of important. It helps those bubbles form. So I'll just demonstrate that again. We put blue paint on the base of the sponge. Then just on one corner, we put a little bit of white paint. We set it on the canvas and we spin it. Set it down and spin to make bubbles. So I think we should look at the painting one more time and see if we got all the elements in it. So we did the whole background by doing smiles with white and blue paint all the way down. We painted it twice because we wanted to make sure that we got everywhere covered. That's kind of important. But if you can do it the first time, then don't, you don't need to do it twice. You can't do it wrong. The next thing that we did was we took a bit of white paint and we made the sergeant majors. You could do that using your tiny brush or you could use your finger and make a little circle. The tail is really either a heart shape or a V shape. You can add fins on the top and fins on the bottom. And then we made these purple little puffer fish and uh, we did the same thing. We painted them white, then we put the color on them. We made spots by taking the other end of the brush, not the bristled end, but the other end. We dipped it in paint 
and then we set it down straight up and straight down and it made spots. So we were able to give our fish some decorative spots. We used the same brush and we made a circle to make the clam out of gray. White and black make gray. We added two dots for eyes on the top in black and then we had to wait because it really needs to either be blow dry or you have to wait until it's dry enough that you can put dots of white on top of that. We used the same brush, we washed it out again, we added white and red together and we pounced, we tap tap tapped tree shapes and that's to make our coral reef. We also use blue and yellow to make the color green and we swiggled up the canvas or swiggled down to make long seaweed. We had opened the clamshell's mouth and we put in one pearl. And over here, the last one of the last things we were working on was making a starfish. A little yellow star here. And he's got a little head, he's got two arms and two legs. There he is. They're a little bit curvy. Okay. And then the last thing we did was we took the sponge brush, we put it in blue paint and put one corner in white and set it on the canvas and gave it a spin. And that created the bubbles. And there you have it everybody, under the sea with fun art paint parties. I really hope you all enjoyed tonight's painting you'll be able to see this on YouTube. So whenever you want to go for it, I hope that you have a great time painting your version of Under the Sea. Have a great night, everybody. Bye from Parney and Sam at Fun Art. She says, thank you, well done.